Hello everybody, I'm David with Android Authority and this is the best of Android 2018. Now over the last couple of months, all of our writers and testers have been working around the clock to find out what phone is really the best out of every single category you could possibly imagine. So we've got new testing facilities in the US and the UK. We've doubled the amount of testing that we're doing on these phones because we really want to make sure that you have the best option available. Well, all of our testing is finally done and we have narrowed down the nine best phones on the market today. We believe that every phone has something different to offer. So if you're wondering what phone has the best screen, what phone has the best camera, what phone has the best battery life, then you really have to look no further than this video and all of our articles that explain this stuff in detail. So without further ado, let's dive into the best of Android 2018. First, we've got the best value phone, and this one was kind of hard to decide on, so we actually ended up choosing two winners here. We've got the OnePlus 6T and the Xiaomi Pocophone F1 because both deliver a ton of performance for the money. It's just an insane amount of value in both of these devices. Next for best performance, we've got the Huawei Mate 20 Pro with its Kirin 980 7 nanometer processor, which just drives this phone like crazy. If you're looking for the best screen, we actually gave two different phones the best screen award this year. If you want the technically best screen, then you're gonna have to go for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. But if you want something that's just a little past the normal boundaries, then we awarded it to the Razer Phone 2 for its 120 hertz screen, which you can only really get on the Razer Phone 1 otherwise. If you're looking for the best battery life on any phone right now, you're gonna have to go with the Huawei P20 Pro. Though we didn't forget about the Mate 20 Pro, that phone actually won fastest to charge with its 40 watt charger. If you're looking for the best camera, which a lot of people do, we actually awarded two phones for this category as well. If you want the most technically accurate camera, then that is gonna have to go to the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. But the way we use our cameras are changing in a lot of ways. And if you're looking for the best AI camera, then you're gonna have to pick up the Google Pixel 3 or Google Pixel 3 XL. If you want the best audio in any smartphone right now, it's pretty much hands down the LG V40. You can plug in a pair of headphones and even ones that require a lot more power. And that quad DAC in that phone is gonna drive those till tomorrow. You're just gonna enjoy your music nonstop. And finally, we've got the best gaming phone, which is kind of a new category. I guess you could say it started in 2017, but that award is going to go to the Asus ROG phone for its overclocked Snapdragon 845, and it's got a ton of accessories that just make the gaming experience a lot better. But the best phone of 2018, which pretty much stayed near the top of every single one of these categories, is the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So if you just want a phone that's pretty much overall the best on the market, you're not gonna go wrong with the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Congratulations to Samsung for clinching the top spot of the best of Android 2018. So that's been it for the different categories and the best overall phone, but we still do have the Reader's Choice Awards that's coming out on the 27th of this month. And there were over 500,000 votes cast for this thing. So you guys were obviously very passionate about what phone you think deserves the top spot this year. So make sure you stay tuned to androidauthority.com to see that and everything else we've got coming this month. It's near the end of November, it's almost the holidays and we're pretty much done with the year. So I'm gonna see you guys in the next video, but until then, have a great great 2018.